Hi everyone. Really glad to be here. Thank you for inviting us. What a great turnout. I said I should have painted my palms blue so I could do the blue wave. <laughs> How many people have heard of Granny Georgia? Okay, we got some educated to do here, Lucy. So, <laughs> Greening Georgia is the environmental caucus of the Democratic State Party. It took five years of work, um, uh, led by actually Claude A. Collier, to get the State Party to approve this group. One of the functions of the group is to ensure that the party is attending to and supporting the environmental concerns of all of the members of the state party and all of our voters in our counties. What we've done as a caucus is we've established a liaison system, and in that system, I, I am a vice chair, uh, Claudia is now the secretary, and we have created a liaison system, system that um, allows us to gather the information from every county in the state that is a functioning Democratic Party and that gives us a, um, a liaison to work with. In this case, thank you, where's Jim? Jim is your, your environmental liaison here. And we now have uh, over 30, 35 liaisons. We are actively recruiting more and the objective is to have them feed us what's the most important issues that are happening in your county and that you're worried about as voters. We then feed that up into the state system and ensure that we have some strong environmental um, uh, input into the state party platform. We're also creating a map that will show the counties that you're not alone. These environmental issues are happening in the county next door, the county two steps away. And if, if once we create this map, it'll allow us to start working together in regional coalitions. Some of the issues that we have thus far identified um, as the top issues, climate disruption, obviously, which if you're paying attention to any uh, environmental issues, you probably heard of Anybody heard of that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> So most of, that, most of the issues around that have been around fossil fuels, and those issues are offshore testing and drilling, pipelines, the expansion of pipelines, and I believe that you have had some experience with that right here in your county. But it's, you're not alone. This is throughout southwest Georgia, and excuse me, south Georgia, but it's also up around the Savannah River Basin. Different fuels, same issues. Um, Fracking. The people of Northwest Georgia and Northern Georgia are dealing with a, a big push to open fracking up in their areas. We are also looking at coal ash. Coal ash was recently in April designated by the EPA as um, a solid uh, waste, meaning that they can now put it in landfills as opposed to continuing to be designated as a hazardous waste. How many landfills do you think are in your county? In the counties around Georgia. So these are those top fossil fuel related issues. We're also talking about nuclear plant Vogel. And folks might not think that this is a statewide issue, but I'm here to tell you they've recently identified that there is an exploded ordinance, one with a uh, nuclear uh, enabled uh, payload that's dumped in the ocean along with other unexploded ordnance. And I'm pretty sure if that, and these, the, the, they believe that this can be set off through these seismic testing that they're planning to do. That would definitely, I'm here to tell you, just as a, a plant Vogel accident, it will affect everyone in this state. Another key issue that we're looking at is uh, deforestation and the biomass industry. Georgia has now been targeted by the international, this is the consortium of international biomass companies, as the number two targeted state in the U.S. for the expansion of their industry. This industry is currently creating wood pellets, almost all of which are being shipped to Europe, and they plan to expand to China, Japan, and Korea. If their expansion were to go through at the rate that they plan it, 
Within 30 years, there won't be a tree left. I'm with Dogwood Alliance also, and the Georgia State Coordinator. Um, we have a lot of information back on the table where the shirts are, so you can get your shirt and some information. Um, we are working to ensure that, but while we don't want to say to property owners, you can't do what you want with your wood. You can do what you want. You can sell to who you want. And you, sir, can do what you want with the wood you bought. We're just going to say, you're not going to get our tax dollars in order to do it, to profit these private companies. Thank <laughs> you.